It is long past time to repot my fiddle leaf fig. Uh, I know this for many reasons. First of all, it's been years. I think it's been about four years that I've had it and not repotted it. Also, the plant is fairly large for the size of the pot. But the biggest sign is that these roots are coming up above the soil on the top here. And also there's roots coming out of the drainage holes at the bottom. Another reason I know it's time to repot is the plant can barely stand up by itself when it's dry. It just doesn't have enough weight in the bottom to hold the plant stable. For my new pot, I'm going to use a trash can. It's several inches bigger in the horizontal directions. It's a bit too deep for this plant, but I'm just going to leave several inches of no soil on the top. This is the best container I have at the moment. In general, when you're repotting a fiddle leaf fig, you want to size your new pot to only be a few inches larger than the original pot. Uh, you don't want the plant to be root bound, but you don't want it to have excessive space either when you repot it. When you are selecting a pot, make sure you have a pot with good drainage holes in the bottom. Or if not, make them yourself. No, I don't have a trash can. For soil, I'm going to use a mixture of typical potting soil, some coarse sand, and it's and also the um, some of the peat moss that's in this original pot. Uh, it's not a bad idea to put some bigger chunks in here just to make sure you have a really good draining soil. And I'm also going to add a little bit of perlite as well just to get a good well draining mixture. And make sure not to breathe in that silica dust. You don't want to get silicosis. Not as completely root bound as I expected, but still pretty tight in here. Definitely ready for a new pot. I'm going to break up this root ball just a little bit, but you want to be careful with a fiddle leaf fig to not stress the plant too much because they are a bit finicky and don't like, yeah, you don't want too much stress from breaking up this root ball. Kind of looks like whoever potted this originally just took a bunch of the roots and wrapped them around in a circle. Some of this is probably new growth since it was put in there, but this looks, this doesn't look natural. So I did have to break a few roots to get this mess at the top of untangled. Uh, I tried to break as few as I can, but I did have to pull a few out. And when you're filling this up with soil, you just want to fill it up to this point where the trunk transitions into the roots. You don't want to bury too much of the trunk. Once you've finished with the soil, give it a good watering in. And keep on watering until you see it start to run out the bottom. Since this plant just underwent this stress of being repotted, I'm not going to do anything else with it for a while. I'm not going to fertilize it. I'm not going to change its environmental condition. I'm going to put it back right where it got the same amount of light, the same temperature, and leave it for a while so it can recover from the stress of repotting, then start making other changes if needed to the environment or to fertilize it. Well, there it is with its new home, repotted. I feel it looks pretty nice. And this trash can may not be the most decorative or the fanciest pot out there, but I kind of like it. It's simple and it's inexpensive and also it's going to be more important as this plant gets bigger, it's light compared to a big terracotta pot.